Today, we are going to compare two popular cameras, the Sony RX100IV and Panasonic LX100. We are going to take a look at their features, who they are for, how they perform in various use cases, user experiences, and which one is the right one for you. Links to both of the cameras will be listed in the description below. Let's get started. The Sony RX100IV and the Panasonic LX100 are two digital cameras that were officially introduced respectively in the 10th of June 2015 and the 15th of September 2014. Let's take a look at how their specs compare to each other. We tested both cameras to assess their performance in different scenarios. Let's take a closer look at our ratings for each of them. Here are our ratings for the Sony RX100 IV. For portrait photography, we will give it a 7 out of 10 rating. For street photography, we will give it a 10 out of 10 rating. For sports photography, we will give it a 5 out of 10 rating. For day-to-day -day photography, we will give it a 8 out of 10 rating. For landscape photography, we will give it a 6 out of 10 rating. Here are our ratings for the Panasonic LX100. For portrait photography, we will give it a 7 out of 10 rating. For street photography, we will give it a 10 out of 10 rating. For sports photography, we will give it a 7 out of 10 rating. For day-to-day -day photography, we will give it a 9 out of 10 rating. For landscape photography, we will give it a 5 out of 10 rating. Next, we will take a look at some sample photos from the Sony RX100IV and the Panasonic LX100. Keep in mind that these photos have editing done to them, so the result from your camera might be different. Let's start with the sample photos. Here are some sample photos from the Sony RX100IV. And here are some sample photos from the Panasonic LX100. Next, let's take a look at what other users of these cameras have to say about them. Here's what people have to say about the Sony RX100IV. This camera has everything I need in a small form factor. It has great features like 4K video, high frame rate, and a 1.8 to 2.8 aperture. However, it does have some limitations, such as limited zoom and 5-minute 4K video recording. Despite these drawbacks, I give it 5 stars. I have been using the Sony RX100 for years and recently upgraded to the IV. The viewfinder and faster sensor are impressive features, and the image quality is much better than the original. I also use the Panasonic GX8 as my main camera, but find myself using the RX100 IV for outdoor shots when I don't want to carry the larger camera. I prefer mirrorless cameras over bulky DSLRs, and find the 20 megapixel range of the RX100 IV and GX8 allows for great image post processing. Overall, I am very satisfied with my gear setup. Here's what people have to say about the Panasonic LX100. I have been using the LX100 camera for a while now, and I am very impressed with its image quality and customizable controls. The zoom lens is fast and sharp, and the EVF is a nice addition. However, there are several issues with the body and firmware that need to be addressed, such as the on-off switch and poor energy-saving features. Additionally, there are limit- I bought the camera as a backup to my DSLR and have been very pleased with its performance. The physical size is manageable, and the controls are easy to use. The image quality is very good and the camera has been reliable with no unexpected problems. The only issue I've noticed is slight overexposure, but it's easily corrected in post-processing. Overall, I'm happy with my purchase. To conclude, here are our overall ratings for both of these cameras. Sony RX100 IV. We will give it an overall rating of 8 out of 10. Panasonic LX100. We will give it an overall rating of 8 out of 10. 